Okay, so on the left-hand side, we have six glyph images. And on the right-hand side, we have six notes proceeding in a scale, starting like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Truth Beyond Words, Episode 11, Glyph. We re-entered by reflecting that we've been tussling with whether to do music or animation next. We are exploring in this series, co expressing concepts in domains beyond words. And for this immediate project, we've created six concepts expressed in words, six physical gesture expressions of the concept words, which we looked at yesterday, and six static glyph images expressions of the physical gestures and a silent animation expression. So today we wanted to make a moving expression of the static glyphs. So what we ended up doing was we did make a new animation uh, here and we decided to punt and add music to it, which is this. So the music is just six notes from one of our custom scales uh, that go C, E, A, B flat, B, C. And this is the, the minor scale from this custom scale. We adjusted our uh, tempo so that each bar turns into five seconds and then in our playlist here each of these uh, each of these six images gets exactly five seconds and we do a nice fade in and fade out so here's what we came up with let's play it and watch it So this ends today's episode. There are a couple things we like about this. We continue to like the, the, the graphic effect of the chalk on a blackboard. Uh, also, we have image, this, this particular glyph is a representation of two hands coming up and spreading apart, which is really fun to show on the camera, you know, like that, welling up something welling up, like water welling up from the ground, coming up and out. Um, but when we put that into uh, music, it's simply one note. And we could argue that the wah, 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 wah of the flute waver kind of orally represents that, but we're, we're, we're now we're adding that interpretation. So, but that is the second thing we like. We said we wanted to add motion. So the two kinds of motion that we added is that uh, they're kind of cross-fading into each other, which, which is a very slow, a very slow frames per second animation. But there's also the illusion of movement or a perception of movement when you, when you, when you play music like this. Our ideas for next time are further ways to add movement expressions to the glyphs. So tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>